morning happy Tuesday how is everyone doing on this fine beautiful Tuesday look at what I have here beautiful flowers they actually smell amazing so I'm going to be talking about potential. I actually, these are a great teacher. These flowers are a great teacher of potential. That seed had the potential to grow into that flower. Hello, hello, welcome. Hey Liz, what's up? Let me wave, let me wave. Antonio, what's up everybody? I'm going to be talking about potential. So many different ways we could go with potential. So, oh, I'm so excited. This is the last topic theme for a very long series that I have been doing this spring. Started in Mexico, so it's wild to have watched all the waves to get me here to this word potential. And I say last because I am going to be doing my Tuesday talks, but this one is almost like We've reached the, the end of this arc that I am teaching about, which is basically kind of like a manifesting arc. What do I mean by that is like, you know, everything follows a certain process. And we were talking about, but it's, and it's almost like full circle because potential is the everything and the nothingness. So we end here kind of like as something ends another thing begins so even though you may have been following me with you know cycles and rhythms and planting the seed and cultivating that thought that idea that you know bring it out into fruition and then into integration and um what did we do last week In we i think it was that integration last week oh no <laughs> freedom freedom into potential it's almost as if it's a great reminder for us to know that as we come back to the everything of it all. So I'm going to hit a few things about potential today. And then I want to talk about the fact that this is leading into next week. I'm going to be doing a seven-week sensory Awaken Your Senses series. Liz, it's going to be fun. We're going to do Awaken Your Senses. It's going to be a seven-week series starting next week. So each week we're going to be using our senses to manifest. Like really, I feel that we've become quite dormant. <laughs> uh, you know, lots of stuff is sleeping inside of us. And one of the best ways to get right back into being in the here and now is to use your senses. And if you're here, say hi to me on Facebook. I see some people here. I'd love to, to know who's here. And you know, this last year has been quite uh, unique for everybody. And I thought how fun it would be for us to start getting a little more experiential in our bodies. Because I mean, I let me admit, I'll be the first to admit I'm very cerebral. Like Brainy, Brainy Lisa loves to overthink, she's a Virgo. And the reason why I do the mind mastery work that I do is because I'm very cerebral. And it is because I had to learn how to navigate my overactive mind that was taking me in all the unproductive places. So, you know, then I got into breath work because to balance out my mind and actually bypass my mind. You know, a breath work is one of the best ways um, to get past your your thinking mind and get it into your body. Good morning, Pat. And I got into breath work because I needed a method, you know, talk therapy is great, but I needed a faster route directly into my body's wisdom that I couldn't outsmart myself and outthink myself. So for all you brainiac cerebral analytical people out there, breath work is amazing. So if you combine mind mastery and breath work, which is exactly what I do, you can really have a great recipe for some powerful self inquiry, some powerful self mastery. Right, Pat? <laughs> Combine those two and you've got a great, great recipe for reaching your potential. So let's talk about potential. So potential is, you know, I love to look up definitions of things and I don't like hold to them like, you know, oh, this is the only way to think about it. In fact, I look up the definition to then question myself and ask myself, what am I thinking about that? 
So what I loved about what I read here is that it's having or showing the capacity to become or develop into something in the future. And I share this in this post this week that I am often, you know, in interviews when I'm asked, you know, what is your biggest fear? Since I deal with, you know, teaching people how to move through fear, sometimes I'm asked, what is your biggest fear? And I often say my biggest fear is not reaching my potential, which upon further thought, <laughs> I actually don't even really know what that means anymore because my potential is infinite. And I guess that's the point is that pure potentiality is just unlimited opportunity, un the, the limitlessness. And I think on some level that excites me, but it also terrifies and overwhelms me because that means if I'm not living my best life, it's on me. If I am living my best life, it's on me. And I think at one point that responsibility wore real heavy on me, like, oh my gosh, no one else to blame. No more old past stories to, to tap into and blame, especially when you do breath work. A part breath work is about really uncovering and releasing all those stories that live inside your tissues and your cells. It's a great pathway for rewiring. And um, when you no longer have anyone to blame, not that, well, yeah, I mean, that's what we do, right? We go around trying to find um, excuses instead of making choices. Then you start to sit with the pure potentiality of life and you sit there in this kind of, well, at least I sat there in this kind of like oneness, individual, small, I'm one little speck of grain of, of sand and then the, the massiveness of, of potential. And I think you begin, I began to make my relationship with those, with that duality and where and how to move through it. And so, so much of the self-mastery path and, and everything that I am here to just, you know, open perspective shifting into is for each of us and each of you to find your relationship with your pure potential. You know, how do you, like bringing it back into human form here, how do you as a human move through that knowingness that if anything was possible, what do you do on a daily basis? How do you navigate the moment to moment, the breath by breath, the day by day? Meaning, of course, there's going to be discomfort. There's going to be moments of fear and self-doubt. And in some ways, I, I often talk about, you know, fear and self-doubt and um, resistance as gatekeepers to the thing that you want. Gatekeepers to your pure potentiality, to your desire, to your goals. So if you know that they are there as the... Um, the passageway through, that means it is your responsibility, my responsibility to make relationship with resistance, fear, hi Ellen, um, resistance and fear and self-doubt. It's your relationship with those things that opens you up to then having that, what I read here, to, to step into the capacity to become or develop, which is that potential. That potential is always there. So it's the stepping into it that is the bravery, the courage, and it's, it's actually a stepping in over and over and over and over and over again because the potentiality never stops becoming vast and massive which can then also bring us to a contraction. So I think back to the breath. The breath is such an amazing way to open us up to the capacity of how much we can actually really take in and give. Because I often talk about this breathing as, you know, your capacity to give, your capacity to receive. So it's your potential for more. So if you're breathing shallow, I invite you to really like take that deep breath in and open up to that next level or layer of capacity of, of potentiality. So it's like <sighs> opening because you are here for, you are meant for greatness and keeping yourself small and in the shallow breathing is keeping yourself in your known capacity versus your expanded capacity, your potential for more. So um, there was another definition here that was the noun, which is basically like 
latent qualities or, ab or abilities that may be developed. So in some way, it's back to this dormant feeling of that your responsibility is to wake it up, to um, awaken, which is why from potential, which is this week, we go into our series next week on awakening the senses. The senses are your your physical embodiment of, of pure potentiality because they allow you to become aware. And awareness is your superpower in a way to reaching your potential. Your awareness is what brings you back into the present moment. And the present moment is what opens you up to being in your most awake and alive self. So, yeah. I mean, let me know what you are thinking. Like, kind of just channeled that one, but that felt good and it felt really aligned. Let me know what, like, how do you all feel about potential and, like, is it something that you, that excites you or that it's something that, that you're afraid of, this idea of reaching your potential? I often talk about this in my marketing and I'm actually really curious because I'm always like, I can help you reach your potential. It's not like actually now that I'm thinking about, I may not help you reach your ultimate potential because like I said, that is like crazy vast. I help you move towards it daily on a moment to moment on a day by day by helping you move your unproductive thoughts out of the way so that you're moving towards your potential quicker. You're out of the having and into the wanting on a more regular basis so that these what I call these unproductive thoughts are not clouding you on a daily um, it just so happens actually um, Pat that was total coincidence that over in um, our 30 days to change we were finishing up a 30-day round over there in my rise program it just so happens that potential is the day uh, word of that day over there and here in total coincidence or is it I don't know but in that um, in that audio because I make audios for each word it's super exciting Liz for you because it's an active living thing not a destination that's a great way to put it and that's actually so beautiful and helpful that you are it I love that because it just brings up the word of like it's this unfolding you're constantly you can constantly be elevating into it and then this is where you pay start paying attention are the people around you supporting that elevation are your thoughts supporting that elevation are your visions and the way that you are actively participating in reaching and um, unfolding into your potential so I love that I love that <laughs> kind of because also life is not about a the destination it's about the journey it's like the journey is literally living inside of the pure potentiality and actually there's a quote from Deepak so I I'm doing um I just finished at before this last round I'm doing two different Deepak things but before this one I was doing his abundance Deepak abundance um, meditation which he just talks for abundance he talks constantly about potentiality because it's all there there is no lack like there's just this abundance of it that we have to tap into which is why when I did align alignment a few weeks ago I was inside of that meditation oh hey Stacy and um, I was like super tapped into this awareness of like this channel of abundance through this alignment that was coming through and I have never felt it that way before where I was like oh my god I feel tapped into the matrix and it's so cool and I, I feel like I've been working or I've been opening up in this self personal development world for a long time to get to that visceral feeling instead of just being something in my mind where I'm like yeah source energy yeah potentiality I, I guess in some ways the um, the scientist in me needed proof I needed to feel it and I felt it and I got really excited about that because I'll be the first to be kind of like a skeptic of like oh well it happens to everybody else but not me you know I'm still human but it felt good to get tapped into that so what was I gonna say oh the Deepak quote yeah so he talks about the source of all creation is pure consciousness pure potentiality seeking expression I love this 
pure potentiality, seeking expression. I love that. I love the idea of that, your potential. This, this capacity is seeking an expression from the unmanifested, so this thing that we haven't created yet, to the manifested. So it's kind of like back to these flowers, right? It's like the seed was seeking the expression of this flower. So it was like from the unmanifested to this manifested, beautiful, smelling amazingness. Oh my God. It's like, I, I still wish there was like smell-o-vision. <laughs> Yesterday I was trying to buy a candle online and I was like, what does it smell like? And I wanted like scratch and sniff, you know? If you remember Scratch and Sniff then, because I had sticker collections. Who had a sticker collection? Talk about the potential of a sticker. They really took that one to the next level. I love it. Scratch and Sniff. I mean, amazing. Smell and then markers that had smells and smell, you know, speaking of the sensory thing, smell is the strongest sense for activating memory tidbit in case you wanted to know what sense act. it's pretty amazing like you can go somewhere and you're you will smell something and can like immediately take you back to like camp like I that's I always have these camp memories anyway okay back to potential <laughs> oh back to this quote so on so expression from the unmanifest to the manifest so he also says and when we realize that our true self is one of pure potentiality we align with the power that manifests everything in nature. I love it. I really do. You know, the more I'm doing this work, the more I'm realizing how much we just have to get out of our own way. It's amazing. Last week I talked so much um, in the Freedom Talk about the undoing, the unlearning, the unseeing. It really is an unfold. It really is like taking the, the Maya, these illusions, these stories off and just allowing what is already there to be. Fragrance is associated with soul and spirit and Kabbalah and other spiritual mystical traditions. Of course, oh my God, Stacy, I love your knowledge. Please drop some more wisdom over here. Yes, fragrance. So that's also associated with smell. Um, all right. So what else do I want to say? Let's pick. We're gonna pick some tarot cards in a minute on our potential. That's gonna be fun. Let's see. Let's see. Um, so yeah, I guess really uh, it's, it's me basically what I wanted to say. I'm just looking. Oh yeah. So, oh yeah. Two other things. One is potential is nothing without action. So we're going to kind of get back to that practical point of potential. Like I love this metaphysical unmanifest pure potentiality, cosmic oneness, source energy. Believe me, love that. And I'm here to be a support to you being a practical manifester and to come back to also this dimension of the fact that we need to, to create things. And to create them, we must take action. Does it have to be big action? No. Should it be small? In my opinion, yes. Smaller the action, sometimes the easier it is to maintain a steady flow. So I would open up the, the question here of, First, can you admit to yourself, like can you really drop into you are, that you are pure potential, everything is possible, that you must actually get out of your own way mentally, but also through the, when you start to take action, the, the, mental, the mental stops while you take action, and this is where the self-mastery comes in. Um, moving yourself through that resistance to then step into your potentiality like I said in the beginning, the gatekeepers to what you want next. So potential is always there. It's your responsibility to move yourself towards it. They say reach, reaching for a reason. You got to reach towards it because there's something that you have to in some ways. Now, I'm, I'm careful to say do because I just also said it's already there, but it's, it's like it's a combination of this feeling of doing, but also an opening. You're opening up to something that's already there. And it, in our little world, it's a doing. There's actions. Let's just leave it at that. 
so um, I use this cup analogy where, okay, so I love the word potential because it holds the quality of hope and possibility, but can also be tricky because it will stay unrealized if no action is taken, like a cup that has the potential to be filled. I love that. So here's this cup. It has potential <laughs> to be a full cup, but you have to fill it. The word is important because you are the cup. You have limitless potential to be whatever you want, to have whatever you want. Anything is possible. The only thing that holds you back is either believing that you can or that you can't. And that's going to bring us back to the mind mastery piece. All right. So having potential and realizing it are two different things. So we have the potential to rise up into the journey of realizing it. But again, unless you take action, which is back to those baby, baby, baby steps, you could fill a cup one drop at a time, right? All right, so here we go. Um, you had a great three weeks and then started looking for the negative based because I feel somewhat undeserving, reprogramming to release that thought habit. Well, that's exactly what happens is sometimes we start to step into the bigness, the capacity for our, our potential. And I talked about this a few times ago, too. Um, Liz, you're probably on that. Hey, Gisela, um, is how we actually don't allow ourselves to be in the bigness, to have the potential, our, our full potential. Like, we actually aren't really trained to allow full happiness. So, at like, exactly what you said, you had these three weeks, and then everything's amazing, and then there we go. Okay, either it, sh it should come in, well, there's also something to realize that there's a natural progression of as you expand, the contraction might come in to be a preparation for the next expansion. So there's, it gets tricky as you keep going and you start to realize there's a natural, um, I have just grew really big and I'm holding so much, so I have to kind of come in to um, almost service that energy, source that energy, hold that energy, to then come back out to be the next, vert, like the next explosion. So I would welcome you to just look at that. Maybe it isn't neg, I mean, if, you, if you've, you're holding it right now as negative because it's undeserving, I say let's reframe it that if you had a big three weeks of expansion, that you're coming inward to either evaluate release some of those undeserving things as the contraction for the next expansion. So be open and aware to coming out, coming back in, coming out, coming back in. Look what everything in nature does it, everything in our body does it, our breath does it, expansion, contraction. It's the natural flow, which is why potential, we're ending with this potential because as I mentioned, it's the everythingness and the nothingness, as in like, pure potentiality is is both it's the complete duality um, so I also want to share that if you enjoy these types of like dualistic conversations that I have here that talk about the everything and the nothing uh, um, most of you already know because I've been talking about it over the last few weeks but I did it talk about pure potential I I reached into the pure potentiality and the source energy of life and I pulled out something and I created something called the Self Mastery Lab, which really does represent this this potential conversation and also the the minutia, the micro and the macro, because the self mastery lab is an opportunity to get to know yourself. I did it, Gisela. We did it, Gisela. You, Gisela has been the most amazing support system and goddess queen right by my side, brainstorming and branding and watching my contractions and expansions. <laughs> you're, you're amazing to stay with me on such a level. Thank you, Gisela, for all your support. And we have been growing as we've been creating this self-mastery lab it is literally how I live my life I take these these words and I get curious about them and I breathe them in and I and I talk about them and I listen to what other people say and 
this self mastery lab it's a monthly membership it's forty nine dollars a month it's you can join anytime you can cancel anytime and it's basically two calls a month where we get on zoom and then i do a training call with breath work and then we have a coaching and q a on the second call you've got some fun assignments throughout the week uh, throughout the month and i'm going to have guests speakers and guest opportunities and experiences and honestly it's really a place for me to get to be all of me too because I love this work so much and I just want to be able to give it all to anyone who's really serious about being the creator of their life because when you put the attention and intention into your life you really can tap into your potential you really can be full creation navigator driver, driver captain hoo -hoo, train conductor of your life and that is my desire to spread that love and the oneness and the one love and for all of us to be the masters of our life and the masters of our mind so if you are interested in, in joining the self mastery lab you can go to metamorphize.com slash the lab or you could reach out to me and um, I'm actually gonna just get going we're starting next week so if next Wednesday it's the first and third Wednesday of every month that's very exciting because that gets me you know on there and every time I learn and show up because you know what at the end of the day this is honestly truthful is that it's, it's all in the showing up it's less about oh what is the actual theme that we're talking about it's like showing up just sends the whole ripple out effect ripple in effect to your system saying that I am worth it I am doing this work and on top of it bonus is that the community that I'm proud to say that come into my sphere are powerful amazing up to big things <sighs> women and men who I just love and adore thank you um, anyone who has worked with me already and I see some of you over there on Facebook thank you thank you thank you and I hope you will continue so here we go if you want a card for our potential give me a number <laughs> machetes yes in the manifesting jungle yes oh my gosh Gisela we we, we be cutting down some serious <laughs> jungle 12 I got you okay let's see some numbers here do you want a card Gisela Antonio alright here we go 12 2 I love this I love picking these cards let me see what Stacy's dropping some knowledge over here. Y'all are going to want to know this stuff here. Let's see. The non-ordinary visceral states are so amazing. They can be altered states, but I prefer non-ordinary because they don't actually require a substance to alter you. Other ways to reach these states. 100. Non-ordinary visceral states. I love your vocabulary. Okay, here we go. 15 and 3. All right. First 12, Antonio. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Actually, I'm going to start over here so I can keep track. Okay, 2, Liz. 1, 2. 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Gisela, coming back. Ooh. 15, Pat. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, Stacy, 3, 1, 2, 3. Oh my gosh. I'm so into this right now. Okay, Antonio. Wait, let me make sure I got everybody. Oh no, we're having trouble with the playback. What happened? What happened? Oh no, I hope you can still see me. Stacy and Pat, can you still see me? Because it says that um, it went offline. Okay. Um, Antonio, beyond illusion. I mean, talk about what a great one to kick off. Oh yeah, the other Stacy, the other people are on um, Instagram. But can you see my video on? It doesn't say I'm on video. Anyway, I know Instagram. I'm good, but I'm not good on. Okay, we just keep going. So beyond illusion. Okay, talk about reaching your potential means 
you must tap into this, this third eye space beyond illusion because it is our illusions that keep us thinking that we can't or that something that is there, like the illusion of our resistance keeping us from having the thing that we want. So, and I feel like we got this last week too. This is pretty amazing. Basically, your illusions are keeping you and holding you back from reaching your potential. So, boom. I hope you resonate. Let me know what you see and hear in this one beyond illusions. I mean, pure potentiality is on the other side of all your illusions. That's what I'm going to say there. Liz, you got patience. <laughs> and I feel like I laugh because like you've been sharing just like your ongoing journey and I just think that sometimes when we get smacked with a reminder that actually you are tap tapping into your like I've been listening to you every week share oh my god another client oh my god I watched your live and then this happened and then like the unfolding has been happening but just like this woman sitting here who's pregnant she cannot rush the baby's um, growth inside her belly just like these flowers you cannot rush them they are going to bloom and blossom in their own way and that seed holds the potential for the flower and your thought and your idea hold the potential for it to be to come to fruition so you must be patient and then the I think the like kind of level of self mastery here in relation to potential or just in relation to anything you're creating is enjoy enjoy the contraction that you're in right now and tell yourself this is what I like to do tell yourself this if you knew that everything was going to be okay how would you move through the this this little contracted negative space unproductive let's call it unproductive because nothing things are negative and positive but it's either productive supporting your vision unproductive not supporting your vision and that's for all of you if you find yourself in anything ask just remind yourself okay if I know that everything's gonna be okay how would I actually move through this okay um, Gisela change <laughs> boom change swirling around so I think that we forget our pure potentiality when we get wrapped up in the outer space of this card outer space the outer edges where there we're so in the like oh my god oh my god this that and we're spinning 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 and we forget that if we actually go into the middle hey Maureen nice to see you where that's the center the eye of the storm I mean all things central hold the calmness and also you get the vantage point to see all that your it potential it's kind of like you are the center of your universe and you are the center of then seeing the pure potentiality around you to give you the then what we talked about in this dimensional world the opportunity to make the strategic move and then you come out this is also about the yin and the yang this card talks about all of the four elements. I mean, this is when everything is in alignment and you're in the middle. So this change card is like, talk about potentiality, is, is also in recognition that change is always here. You're always in motion, always in flux. So find the center. Okay. We had Pat, 15. You had success success I don't know if you're here Pat are you still here if you're still here let me know success okay I mean really this is what we experience in this human form in our human world that when we do this thing called um, reach our potential or reach stopping points along the way and this card just reminds us of the the importance of the impermanence of things so like you are on your journey to reach something and then you reach it and you feel success but just like this parade it will end so that's why I was also saying that potential potential is the everything and the nothing and the expansion and the contraction the success leads to then the next journey so enjoy the parade and then keep going and that's why I'm always saying stay steady yes reach for the stars yes this is also an action card so you are actively in your success and then you are actively
actively going to keep moving and taking the next thing. Also, you can bring success to anything that you're doing in your life. It can be small things. It doesn't always have to be reaching that final thing. And I actually support you to look at all the baby, baby, baby steps like you're doing in the 30 Days to Change right now as success to lead to the bigger thing. One, a beach is created one grain at a time. Each grain is a success. And the ocean, one drop at a time. You need all the drops to create the ocean. Stacy, <laughs> slowing down. So it's potentiality or potential. Sometimes we need to slow down to remember and remind almost this idea that to go inward, to listen, to slow down, to be inside our potential in a slower way. Like I actually just even found myself like talking really fast. I was like potential. It just somehow made me feel urgency. And this is such a great reminder that first of all, wherever you go, you are at home. I mean, the turtle shows us that beautiful lesson that wherever you go, you are at home. And that also, that same potential that I guess I think I've been kind of talking about as like this outer cosmic potential is also within us. That we hold this potential within us as a, um, a resource in. So, wow, it's so funny because I'm like totally slowing down. Just getting this card has made me slow down to think and to, to realize that we also have this amazing inner resource of the universe within us and that it is important that we not only strive for this outer success but we also strive for that inner slowing down and realize the abundance of it at all times and as we're slowing down and in our inner success and our outer success, we're reminded that we're always in change. Change is a constant. So you have to learn how to navigate this. It's always happening. This card is always happening. So are you either living your life in the inside with the vantage point out or are you living on the outside getting whipped around? And once you find yourself learning how to move through change, you learn to to move through patience as an active form of waiting. Expectation is an active form of patience. You start to expect it. She's expecting, that's what they call it. She's expecting the baby because she's waiting, but it's active. It's not um, an impatient kind of waiting. Well, patience is a quality we bring to something. She can be impatient, uh, but it's not gonna change how fast or how slow this baby comes. And this, that, that quality of patience or impatience comes from realizing that it's all actually an illusion. There is <laughs> no such thing in some ways as time. Time is what we, we bring, that, that essence of um, the fear that there's not enough. The fear, I, if you are interested in my concepts on time, I did a whole live on time bending where like time, what a weird construct especially when we're talking about potentiality and like this whole almost illusionary concept of time. I mean, yes, the sun comes up and then it goes down and that's what we base our time. Stacy, I'd love to know what you think about time. <laughs> um, all right, let's see here. It only cuts out every now and then for a few seconds. Oh, thanks, Rach. I, I, Rachel, I keep on struggling with um, this live sometimes. Okay, we are going into Mercury retrograde at the end of the week. Yes, we are, Stacy. And oh, the eclipses. Yes, I'm super excited about tomorrow's call. We have a great call on the eclipse, and I've been uh, learning more and more about that stuff because, like, the shit hit the fan over here this week, and I was like, let me look to the astrology and see what's going on. All right, everyone, you know me. These are supposed to be 20 minutes, and like now it's 40. So I appreciate you for being here, for, for listening to me, for sharing your perspectives. If you're interested in the Self Mastery Lab, um, let me know if Yoli, Kelly, and um, anyone else over here 
on Instagram wants a card, drop me a number right now so I'm about to get off. <laughs> and um, thank you so much. Time is merely the fourth dimension. Oh my God, yes. Let's talk. I should do one on dimensions. I recently looked up dimensions because I was like, how many dimensions are there, I think? And, and that's a whole conversation in itself. Kelly, seven. And I don't always understand them, but sometimes I really feel like I'm living in a different dimension. It's just like, I don't know. And sometimes I find my fellow dimension pe dimensions, <laughs> people who live in my dimension, I'm like, yes, right? It makes sense. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, this is the last card. Ooh, way to figure, way to, way to end it strong. This is Osho. This is what he looked like. This is Master Osho. This is the Osho Zen Tarot deck. And I think that hey, you're definitely someone that lives in my dimension, Kelly, for sure. Anyone who has worked with me lives in my dimension, and I love you forever because of that. Um, I mean, I guess if we sum up where we just landed, if you are someone that can tap into pure potentiality, you have in some ways become a master of your life. You've become a master of your mind. You understand the, um, the micro and the macro of this world and the dualistic yet oneness. I mean, really, if I kind of sum up the work that I do, it would probably really end up getting into dualism, oneness, dualistic oneness. Micro, macro, practical manifesting. Practical manifesting in a dualistic world. Hey, hey, marketing over here. Anyway, so yes, Kelly, you are mastering your life, and I, I see you tapping into your potential, and, um, and I know you to be a kind uh, person living, thinking of others, so that is also inside of this world of the potential of our own our own potential inside of the other potential. You know that once we become a masters of ourselves, we also have this responsibility to um, influence others and be of service. And I know you are a beautiful service service provider. That sounds so weird. It's not so technical, sorry, but beautiful heart. All right, I love all of you. Thank you so much metamorphize.com the lab if you're interested Kelly I don't know what maybe you heard or didn't earlier and Yoli I finally launched the lab I'm super excited even if you're not gonna join would love feedback just let me know what you think or send it to a friend I'll be reaching out to all of you individually I love you so here's to you um, opening up to your pure potentiality and the one um, go inward breathing meditation mind mastery I love you I will see you around and um, time is really just our conscious experience of sequence. Yes. Yeah, let's talk dimensions. Stacy, you and me, let's do a live on dimensions. I mean, I don't even know what I think, but it'll be fun to let it come out. Sequence is merely the way we perceive our experience. Sequences. I love you all. Bye.